Imagine being able to find out anything about anyone online. Sounds scary? These are some of the questions that open source intelligence, or in short, OSINT can help you answer. OSINT is the art and science of collecting and analyzing information from publicly available sources. In this video, I will show the use of OSINT tools and methods to trace a person online, conduct investigations in the digital world, and gather data on penetration testing. Let's say you're trying to find the real name behind a pseudonym. Instead of just googling who is Captain Noodles, you can use government records, social media, and specialized tools. It's like upgrading from a slingshot to a laser-guided missile. But remember, folks, this is for legal and ethical purposes. We're not here to stalk your crush or freak out your boss. One of the most powerful OSINT tools is Google. But not just Google. You have to know some special tricks to get Google to disclose more than it ordinarily would. These tricks are called Google Dorks, and they were discovered by Johnny Long back in 2002. He discovered that certain search queries in Google can actually reveal vulnerable systems or even sensitive information. Here are some examples of Google Dorks that can help us find information about someone's real name. This query will search for the exact phrase John on Instagram. The quotation marks will tell Google to match the words exactly, while the site operator will tell Google to confine the search to results within that particular domain. If you want more curies, just peep in description. Now, about databases. Data breaches are a serious problem that affects millions of people and organizations. These could include email addresses, passwords, personal details, and many other things. Security researcher Troy Hunt put up a website where you can check whether your email address has been compromised in any of these breaches. Another website that can help you with this does the same thing but shows you what passwords or password hashes are being associated with your email address. This may help identify if your password has been reused on other websites where there is an increased likelihood of your accounts being hacked. Another clue that can help you find a person online is their phone number. You can make use of user-supplied databases of phone numbers like whocalledme.com. This website allows searching for phone numbers from different countries. These are the list of tools. The goal is to first gather basic information, such as country, area, carrier, and line type on any international phone numbers with high accuracy. Then try to determine the VOIP provider or search for footprints on search engines. Imagine you have a photo and you want to find out its origin or where else it has been used. How do you do that? You use a reverse image search tool, like Tinny. These will let you upload an image or input an image URL, then find similar or identical images on the web. Sometimes, the image itself can be revealing of a large amount of useful information with regard to the model of the camera in which the picture was taken, the location, date, and so on. You can use EXIF tool, which works on any platform and also look for the other tools. SOCMINT stands for Social Media Intelligence, and it is a particular subset of OSINT. Social media can often be a rich source of information as it contains or may present interests, opinions, activities, location, and behaviors, amongst others, of millions of users. Facebook is one of the most widely used social networking sites with over 2.8 billion monthly active users. The following are some of the tools that can be utilized for extracting useful information from Facebook. Extract Face, a tool that can download all data from a profile or group on Facebook, like posts, comments, likes, reactions, photos, videos, friends, members, etc. Spiderfoot is an application that will scan your target and find everything out and anything about it. It's able to query more than 100 public data sources at once, and you can choose which you'd like to use. You can also scan based on use cases, find out what your target is exposing to the internet, if your target is malicious or gathering intelligence from different open sources. The last one is perfect for passive reconnaissance, meaning you don't interact with your target directly. The Harvester is a tool that can fetch valuable information about your target. Information gathering can be done intensely and fast with Recon. It's a web-based reconnaissance framework that has quite a lot of modules for passive reconnaissance, searching for domains, emails, contacts, credentials, locations, vulnerabilities, and more. Maltigo is a very complete tool intended for analysis of a difficult environment, and it delivers the content visually. It does data mining and data correlation, and it works with entities such as people, companies, websites, documents, and many more. Now, go forth, explore, and promise me, 
you won't use this on your ex or that annoying neighbor with the loud music. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay curious, stay ethical, and most importantly, stay off the FBI's watch list.